Microsoft insiders have had their hands on an Xbox preview console for quite some time now. We have seen loading times, quick resume, boot up speed, backwards compatibility and next generation console graphics, but latest reports now suggest that the Xbox Series X is running hot. So in today's video I'm going to do some dip and speak my mind. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me, I hope everybody is having a good day and if you enjoyed this video please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more videos like this, I do appreciate the support. So a couple of reports have now popped up this week that suggest that the Xbox Series X is running really hot. Now I need to be honest, I don't think there's anything to this and I'm not suggesting that the people making these claims are lying, I just think that it is a case of off the cuff remarks being taken way out of context. Hardware runs hot, we all know that my gaming PC heats up my entire room, it blows out the hot air to keep the system cool inside, that is just how it works. So unless you're going to put your head inside of the Xbox while you play, which I do not recommend that you do, you are not going to have any issues here. But obviously I do not have an Xbox Series X to test, so let's work our way through some of these claims and hear from a couple of insiders who actually does have this console because right now a lot of these overheating claims comes from people who does not even have a console. So again for those of you who do not know, Microsoft has sent out hundreds of consoles to people for testing and that is not exactly the actions of a company who has something to hide as Tom Warren from The Verge pointed out when asked about the Xbox Series X overheating problem. Lots of people are asking me about the Xbox Series X heat, I'm under embargo just consider this, Microsoft wouldn't send these consoles to hundreds of journalists, streamers and and YouTubers if they had heat issues, they just wouldn't let people touch the console at all. Now again I absolutely believe that the Xbox Series X will be hot, I believe that the PlayStation 5 will also be hot if you play for long enough, although we won't know that yet because Sony won't let anybody test their console independently as far as I know. I know that they had a paid promotion where a bunch of Japanese creators got the opportunity to test out the console but in a controlled environment like that it doesn't really count in my opinion. But back to my original point, there is a difference between running hot and overheating as some headlines suggest wrongfully. So the heating issue was first pointed out by Ken Bogard who praised the console for being quiet but expressed surprise at how much heat the console emits as a result, quoting an article from Video Game Chronicles here, links will be down in the description. Now I wanted to play a full clip for you but the video has been deleted but I will just read out his full statement, the Xbox Series X is hot, it is like really hot, it doesn't make any noise but damn it is hot, the console is emitting heat like crazy, it is almost like a fireplace shaft. Again those statements have now been deleted, afterwards somebody asked him on Twitter if the console is in fact overheating and he simply said fake news. Then the article goes on to say the following, the latest Xbox Series X media impressions have expressed surprise at the amount of heat the console emits with one journalist even appearing to burn his hand on the storage expansion while live streaming. And just to be clear, no, a journalist did not burn his hand on an expansion, again I'm not suggesting that the expansion was not hot, but he was clearly just exaggerating. If he truly did burn his hand, he would have not held it for a full minute straight, but I will let you judge for yourself. Look at this freaking thing. Uh, Jeff just it's unzipped uh, it's his like pants. The like the, oh, that's um, the, the oh, right? Ooh, it's on fire. Yeah. It's super hot. Why is it oh, so Jeff hot? Even hear it. No, he doesn't care. What's I'm up? Not, wait, what did you say? And I said, look at that. Nothing. Look at that little hard drive. <laughs> so that looks like it looks just like a PS2 memory stick. Yeah, it's, it's still so on. This is a terabyte of storage, which is pretty wild. But here's yeah. the thing. Um, so that doesn't come said, with it, though. That's like a separate accessory. No, this right? is that's like the $200 thing. Bucks. Yeah. So here's what's crazy, right? This thing. Yeah. I, I, so th this was just plugged in in standby mode behind me. Oh and yeah, guys. Yeah. The entire thing is a little toasty. Mm. Um, now and again, I, this is pre-release hardware. Yeah, to be fair. But totally. You know and and, yeah. and I'm sure they're not stoked for me to even get into that much kind of detail. Um, but you know, people were asking like, oh, you know, it it seems like it's in the way that a lot of the other consoles were doing stuff. 
while you were not using them. It seems like this thing might be doing something while you're not using it in right to right. the point where it needs to exhaust heat. <laughs> well, no. The, so the one X does that too. Yeah. So as you can clearly hear, he was joking. And yes, I do believe that it was hot, but his comments were clearly taken out of context. In fact, it was taken so much out of context that Jeff had to respond on Twitter, getting a lot of chatter regarding the Xbox Series X heat on Beastcast. I said that it was toasty and that's exactly what it was. I've read stories that are used using the Beastcast segment to support claims that the Xbox Series X has a heat problem and I would disagree with making that assumption. If you are concerned with the story you have read saying that the one terabyte expansion drive appeared to burn my hand, you are of course perfectly welcome to watch the full Beastcast sequence starting here. Then he just says hot to the touch, yes, but clearly not burn my hand. And there is plenty more claims that have been debunked that I can go through but I believe that the point has been made. Do I believe that this console will blow out hot air? Yes, but unless you're going to put your whole hand inside of the console and touch the GPU while you play, it will not be a problem. I feel like I can safely say the Xbox Series X does not have an overheating problem, at least not at the moment. But on that note, this is where I'm going to end it. So again, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. If you would like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. And as always, please remember to stay safe. Wash your hands, don't touch your face, and I hope to see you again soon.